Hello students from Burgos University. On behalf of the Eurasia Foundation from Asia and the Rectorate of Internationalization, Mobility and Cooperation of Burgos University, as a coordinator of the course, it is a pleasure for me to officially close the first edition of our interdisciplinary course, Sustainability, Ethics and Social Responsibility in Cross-Cultural Dialogues, One Asia Community with Europe. The course has taken place from the 19th of February till the 6th of May. The first open and lecture was held in the Faculty of Law and the second and third sessions in the Faculty of Economics of Burgos University. Due to the COVID-19 health crisis and national lockdown situation in Spain, which we are still de-escalating from, starting with session four, our course turned into online format to adapt to this new circumstance. We would like to publicly thank all the lecturers they have been so kind and cooperative by sending their video lectures and for their generous time in connecting through video call with the students to answer their questions directly. As you can see in the course program, 15 lecturers from European and Asian universities have taken part in our course. It has been such a pity not to be able to meet Mr. Sato and other the Eurasian Foundation from Asia representatives in person this year due to the coronavirus situation. We truly hope to host them in Burgos University in the near future and deeply appreciate their support and help throughout the course. In the video lecture section of the course, sessions have been posted on the online platform in order to make them available for the participants of the course. Furthermore, the online format allows for a bigger impact and broader dissemination of the Eurasia Foundation mission and values by making it accessible to the general public as well through open access. In this first edition, we are delighted to confirm that the following 20 students have successfully completed the course by meeting its requirements and therefore are entitled to the completion certificate from Eurasia Foundation and the three academic credits from Burgos University. As one of its requirements, students had to present a final project whose objective is to contribute to the promotion of cross-cultural dialogues, one Asia community with Europe, by making it visible to the Eurasian community the most touristic places of Burgos and its history the cultural value of the region, Burgos companies with international projection, sustainability initiatives that are underway, platforms to support Asian students, etc. The projects have been presented in English and are in line with the mission and values of Eurasia Foundation. The students have worked as a team and individually in justified situations. It has been recommended that they contribute to the project by introducing content related to the area of study. A student's final projects for this first edition have been Let's Build Bridges, Not Walls by Belen Gonzalez, Eurasia Blog, A Travel Guide for Asian Tourists by Lucia Muñoz, Burgos Quest by Esther Vallés, The Thief, The Spanish Ronin by Nicolás Real, From Bar to Bar Map, from Pedro Díaz, Influencias, by Francisco Moyano, Irene Rodríguez, and Juan Carlos Rico, APEAR, by Víctor Abarca, Jaime Rodríguez, and Débora Toshi. And lastly, Enjoy Burgos Website and Map, a work project by Paula Anton, Javier Esperilla, Julieta Díez, Agustina González, Cristina Martínez, Eva Landía, Paloma Leire, Cristina González, and Roger Redondo. Let's Build Bridges, Not Walls is a project addressing exchange Asian students in Burgos University with intention to welcome them to the university and to the city of Burgos and helping them to identify diverse resources to understand Burgos academic offer, degrees, English and Spanish courses, and to strengthen internalization and partnership. It also provides sustainability proposals 
for students to join in. And practical information. The next project, Erasure Blog, Burgos, a travel guide for Asian students by Lucia Muñoz, has been created with the intention to establish a dialogue between Asian tourists and the city of Burgos, making it easier for students from an Asian background to know a little bit about the brief history of Burgos about the Camino de Santiago Trail also what to do in Burgos visiting historical buildings, museums, wild nature, a stroll around the city and popular festivities. It has a section created just for Asian students to be prepared for cultural shocks that might arise while visiting Burgos, as much as a handy and practical list of Spanish words and phrases to survive while they are in Spain. The next project, Burgos Quest by Esther Vallez, proposes a Gincana-like activity in one-day tour around Burgos for Asian tourists. This visit is set up as a quest in which tourists need to complete several tasks related to Burgos' history and culture. From Fid Campeador statue, Human Evolution Museum, Espolón Promenade, Santa Maria Arch, Burgos Cathedral, Tapas Area, Plaza Mayor, Way of St. Saint James, to finally reach the castle. Burgos, one of most iconic sites. The idea behind this quest is that Asian tourists interact with the city and get a good memory of their visit. The following project, the, Th the Spanish Ronin, looks for common points between Asian and European and Spanish culture. So the project suggests the development of possible parallelisms between two grey medieval soldiers without masters, the Japanese samurai Ronin and the legendary hero and main figure in the city of Burgos, El Cid Campeador. With the slogan, Visit Burgos, the city of Cid, the Spanish Ronin, this project highlights the closeness in the story of both characters as a way to motivate Asian visitors in general, and Japanese in particular, to come to Burgos and deepen in their historical similarities. The next project, from bar to bar map, from Javier Diaz, is designed for Asian students visiting and studying in Burgos to have the opportunity of emerging themselves in the Spanish culture by proposing an alternative gastronomic route through the most popular eating sites and bars. Its objective is to enhance Burgos culture and culinary traditions offering handy tips and useful advice to Asian visitors. The next project, Influencias, by Francisco Moyano, Juan Carlos Rico, and Irene Rodriguez, proposes a twofold perspective. On one side, from Burgos to Asia, building bridges between both Asian and Burgos through culture by creating and organizing several cultural activities in Burgos designed for Asian citizens, especially students. And on the other hand, from Asia to Burgos, building bridges between Burgos and Asia, making the activities appealing for highly qualified professionals of the sector with very um, appreciated profiles. So the world pays attention to Burgos, allowing for a strong cultural exchange. It proposes the creation of a network of institutional collaboration, focusing on creating bonds between the City of Council, the University, and Eurasia Foundation from Asia. 
Um, this is intended to heighten a collaboration network that enriches social and cultural associations of Burgos. The activities proposed range from um, collaborating with Burgos Green Office, Superior Music Conservatory, Aikikai Burgos Association, Burgos Public Library, Burgos Law School, and um, um, EUS School, a student association of Burgos University, also with the association Parafarnelia, Leisure Time, also with Monsai, Burgos Cultural Association, Let's Me, Friends of India Cultural Association, Philothetic and Numismatic Circle of Burgos, ACNIL Cultural Association, Association and Network of uh, Book Honors. Also, they propose as other possible activities collaborating with. C E N I E H Association, also Autism Federation of Burgos, with um, the University of Burgos more closely, and with a company that joins Burgos and Asia as the uh, well known San Miguel Bria brand by proposing the creation of an um, Asian style type of beer, Manila beer. Also uh, collaborating with the uh, Professional Dance School and the uh, Museum of Human Evolution in Burgos. They also propose supplementary activities um, and uh, a preliminary logo, a dissemination plan and a passport. And of course the, uh, the uh, Manila type Asian touch for um, the well-known beer brand um, San Miguel. Moving on to the next project, Association for the Promotion of Europe-Asia Relations, APEAR, by Victor Abarca, Jaime Rodriguez, and Deborah Coara Toshi. They consider creating a cultural association for the promotion of Europe and Asia relations. This is an, an, a new association that will organize formative and recreational activities, as well as providing support to individuals and um, as a network for sharing information through a website. As their mission, they, they promote cultural, commercial, and diplomatic relations between Europe and Asia with a special focus in the city of Burgos. Their objectives are cultural, social, and economic. As activities, they propose seminars, workshops, cultural meetups, trips, visits, and also support and individual mentoring to Asian students, online activities, and other proposals. The next project, Enjoy Burgos website, has been created with a focus on sustainability and ethics in intercultural communications. It consists of a website to promote Burgos among Asian visitors and to show Burgos' potential and talent to the Asian community already living in Burgos and in Spain. The different sections of the website are divided in gastronomy, it explains different routes in the city and province involving different traditional products. This section has been developed by Paloma Leira. The next section is the wine route that explains the importance of wine for Burgos province and La Ribera de Duero certificate of origin. This section has been developed by Agustina Gonzalez. All the sections come with an interactive map to locate the site. The next section, culture, 
tips and sights and practical information on monuments and museums in the city and presents the way of St. James route through the province and Camino Santiago Trail. This section has been developed by Cristina Martinez. The next section, Lasher, presents the main festivities and events showing the parks and green areas in the city and introducing Asian community to the music festivals that take place in the province as well as to Burgos local music dance. This section has been developed by Julieta Diaz. The next section, Oriburgos, is developed by Javier Asperilla and it unites the origamis traditionally from Asia with Burgos culture. It involves citizens' participation. Different origamis are said to be installed in various parts of the city centre accompanied with a scanning code. In in this way, if someone sees the origami figure and scans the code, they will be taken to their website. So the project encourages collaboration between locals and Asian community through a gincana-like um, route. The next section, investment, offers information about different companies installed in Burgos industrial area. These companies have been chosen because they may show an interest for the Asian community and also for their sustainable developments. This section has been developed by Eva Landia, Roger Guzman Redondo and Cristina Gonzalez. All the website has uh, been uh, created by Paula Anton. The students' final project have been reviewed and assessed for competition by the evaluation committee members. On the left, the vice rector for internationalization, mobility, and cooperation, Ms. Elena Vicente Domingo. Next to Elena, the director of the Center for Modern Languages and the delegate of the rector for Asian Affairs, Mrs. Sai Kindley. Top right, technician in the Modern Language Center and support to coordination, Soraya Camara Sua. And at the corner right, that's me, Shiano Sotelo, coordinator of the course. Following guidelines by the Eurasia Foundation from Asia, $2,500 have been assigned for rewarding student-based projects. Prices have been divided in three categories. After reviewing the projects and on behalf of the evaluation committee, it is a pleasure for me to announce that the three winning projects of this first edition of the course are Enjoy Burgos website and map, first prize, Influencias, second prize. Eurasia Blog, third prize. In addition, the excellent awards of the course granted by Eurasia Foundation from Asia to the most outstanding students for this first edition go to Julieta Diaz Hernandez and Cristina Martinez Gonzalez. The awards have been granted taking into consideration the students' course performance, participation, interest, and the selection of winning final course projects. On behalf of Eurasia Foundation from Asia and Burgos University, we would like to congratulate students from the winning projects and also for the rest of the course participants because all of them have successfully completed the course and have become now part of our Russia Foundation from Asia community.
a community of students and future professionals committed to promoting sustainability, ethics, and social responsibility in cross-cultural dialogues, one Asia community with Europe. Thank you very much to all of you.